Dear Prime Minister, dear Minister Siarto, dear friends, um, I think that today we are celebrating a landmark decision because uh, maybe in the process of gibberish, uh, it sounds very technical, that we have opened the first cluster of the negotiations, but it means that now the road is open for the substantive negotiations, meaning that now we will negotiate the conditions on which Albania is going to be a member of the European Union. This is what is happening uh, today. I also want to thank the Hungarian Presidency, who has uh, started its work with putting enlargement not only as a political priority, but also devoting huge efforts to push forward the institutional process. Institutional process meaning having all the necessary decisions and meetings that are required to make progress also in terms of uh, concluding uh, the accession negotiations. Because it is, I think, by now unquestionable that for the EU and also for its leaders, enlargement is among the top three priorities. Among the top three priorities, because with it, without enlargement, uh, Europe cannot grow stronger. We will need uh, enlargement for the European Union to get stronger. Compared to where we start, started back in uh, 2019, I think we came a long way. Um, I do remember vividly uh, the first day in my office uh, when I had to call Prime Minister Rama already in the morning because uh, they have had a devastating earthquake. Um, a a 6.4 uh, earthquake. Um, and we immediately stepped in and tried to help. And I think uh, this has shaped also the rest of the mandate. Uh, and not only shaped the mandate, but also brought, I think, a new approach. Because what I have inherited from the Juncker Commission, uh, the Prime Minister already um, pointed to that, was um, more like a car crash than a portfolio. Uh, we had, uh, we had uh, three attempts failed. Uh, to get agreement on uh, starting the accession negotiations with Albania and North Macedonia. And we had to take it from there. And uh, basically we had to put enlargement policy first uh, from its head on its feet again, uh, then uh, deal with the real enlargement, uh, the, the, the real integration, meaning how we're going to uh, get similar uh, economies, societies embedded in the Western Balkans even before accession takes place. That is the, grow, that is the economic and investment plan. Uh, the first one was creating a new uh, enlargement methodology. And the third one is the latest one, is the growth plan, which is accelerating now the enlargement uh, to make it possible that the end of the mandate of the next commission, uh, we will also see uh, Prime Minister Rama uh, nominating uh, his first commissioner uh, to the commission. Um, and I also very vividly remember when, uh, when we first discussed with the Prime Minister my plans that um, I think that we can make uh, the most out of it. Uh, and he was looking at, uh, at me. We didn't know each other, but, but he was looking at me with... Um, how should I put it, um, with a modest level of, uh, of questions, uh, whether this is feasible. And it is feasible. It is feasible because uh, Albania took a new approach uh, when it comes to uh, getting things done. A new approach meaning not being shy of doing everything that is necessary, including things on the ground. If you want to take um, a couple of examples, uh, we had um, major concerns uh, back in 2020 when it came to um, organized crime, when it came to corruption, when it came to uh, the, the, uh, the judicial uh, uh, system. And uh, 
we dug really deep with the Prime Minister. Uh, he, and he has been committing, engaging and delivering on, on all of this with actions together with the member states, building up trust bit by bit, brick by brick. And I think uh, that was uh, a crucial element in the success uh, the country has accumulated by now. Because if you, if you look back uh, where we are now, uh, we had also COVID, we, we had to deliver vaccines, uh, we had, of course, uh, um, a major decision already back in 2020 to start the accession negotiations, and then we had another problem uh, completely unrelated to Albania, uh, but by 2022 we have got the first intergovernmental conference of, uh, of Albania on, on its way, meaning the accession negotiations have started. Um, and next to it, we also started to build uh, Europe in Albania. We have uh, addressed um, issues that I think have been uh, lying there as problems for uh, a number of decades. Uh, the Vlora bypass, uh, which we inaugurated. You have now uh, the uh, College of Europe in Albania, uh, the first uh, in the Western Balkans, and I could go on. The list is very, very long. And this is because Albania was never shy of doing everything that is required on its EU path. And I do hope that this will continue, uh, because if this continues, it means that with all the tools that we have at hand, Albania can prepare itself uh, to become a member uh, by the end of the next uh, mandate. But it means that on the ground we need to implement also the economic and investment plan. There I have good news. Uh, we are at the level of 60% of implementation. I think this is maybe the most successful part of the whole of the EU budget. 60% already now. Uh, it means that uh, we have not only a success in terms of implementation, but it also means that effectively the program is overbooked. We have an additional more than 7 billion euros of investment needs flagged by our partners that could trigger an additional 20 billion euros of investments in the region. Investments in the real economy, not investments in general. Investments that will create a new economy and a new society on the Western Balkans, <coughs> be it connectivity, be it energy, be it the environment, be it uh, sewage treatment, waste treatment. On all aspects uh, of everyday life, the EU is gearing up itself. And on top of that, the growth plan will also help you to accelerate all the reforms that are necessary for you to become uh, a member. So. Prime Minister, you have everything at your disposal now, so I do hope that uh, by the time I'm gone, uh, you will even speed up the work uh, that I know you feel uh, very, very uh, closely attached. Thank you so much.